I'm Vita, number eight Walker child, baby, I should say. Uh, we've talked about my parents. Now we're gonna talk about my sister. I had a sister, number seven, who's 15 months older than I am. We were in everything, right, together. Uh, except for one thing, she was beautiful. She had, was very popular. Uh, she was a cheerleader. She was a majorette. She was everything that I wasn't. Everything that I would like to have been. But she did, so, and she did a good job of everything. Uh, I, I went through all my year, high, well, high school years, uh, middle school, and I was very, very jealous of her, and I knew it, but I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't help it, because she just was so perfect in everything. Um, in our high school, we had our girls' basketball competitions after the day, the day of school. They usually started at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So this one, one game I was really interested in, and I wanted to be the first person in the gymnasium. In the gymnasium, we had bleacher-type seats. So I went, hurried to the gymnasium. I got, got a choice seat. Just wait. The girls came coming in. They started coming in, warming up. And I thought, this is going to be good. Uh, about that time, there was a, we have, there are bullies, female bullies, too, believe it. Believe me, they, uh, the girls were coming in, and in came this 10th grade bully. Took my hold of my feet and pulled me off of the, see, left me sitting on the floor. Get off of this bench, Walker. I want this seat. So I'm sitting on the floor looking up, and about that time, I saw Moneydale, my sister, who was sitting up be higher than I was, and I didn't know she was there. She came down, it, was, it seemed like she was leaping. She came down and pulled that girl by the collar and gave her a, <laughs> <laughs> gave her a bloody nose. And she, she said, you, you leave my sister alone. Um, so the, the girl left, left the gymnasium with her nose bleeding, and I was kind of scared at that point. So I left the gymnasium and went home. Uh, when, I, when I got home, my mother said, what are you doing at home here? You were going to stay. And I said, I just had to come home and tell you that Money Dell loves me. Because <laughs> she was always so far ahead of me. She excelled so beautifully, and I, I didn't feel like I did anything. But I, I was all, and it meant a lot to me because she defended me against this, this big girl bully. And I just had to hurry home and tell my mother about it. Okay? Uh, thank you.